Y'all, I just wanted to show y'all the last little steps that I'm doing on some of my littles. So there's three, um, three different products that I'm using today. One is this Matisse Structure Paint. It's from Australia, I absolutely love it. It's very, very thick, as you can see. And, uh, but it's what I use for my wings, for the angels. Also, I use a heavy duty, our heavy body acrylic paint. This is gold. This is iridescent rich gold. It's my favorite one that I put on the hearts and for the halos, crowns for the angels. And then I'm also going to use E6000, which is an amazing glue. This is in black, and I'm going to be gluing in um, these little angels inside these frames. So I wanted to show you that, and let's see. I'm moving it down here so you can see me work, and I think that's good right there. Okay. So, um, actually it already started, but this you can see just touching up a little the wings here on this one. And this angel is gonna get some wings too. So my favorite tool is a palette knife, y'all. I <laughs> absolutely love a palette knife. Um, and you know, I'm most comfortable using my right hand with the palette knife, which is so interesting because I'm left-handed and, but I really love, um, yeah, I love the, the feel of the palette knife in my right hand. So just doing a little texture on the face, hoping you can see that. It's nice and thick. Okay. So, oh, another tool y'all I really love are baby wipes. So they just clean things quickly. So clean off that palette knife, cover this up because man, you don't wanna let this dry out <laughs> or it will get very thick. And then I'm gonna just do a little gold on these so i usually just using my palette knife coming across a little bit here and doing a little gold on the robe and just putting a little more up here you know it's a very very beautiful holy thing angels and I think we can never really have too much gold. This going across here, way bigger head on this angel. <laughs> so it's touching it. So I think that looks good. This. So I already did some prep work. Uh, again, using my baby wipe to clean for getting my glue out of this E6000. So I'm gonna put this angel inside here. And I've already named this one. This is called the Safe Shelter. And this is number 307 for this year for me of uh, paintings that I have done. So this is a black glue that is very, very good, y'all. You can use it, um, well, the reason I chose a black for this is because this has already been stained. And yeah, doesn't that look good? So I'll have to leave it this way, uh, but this is called a safe shelter. And this one is called I Bless Your Name just listening to one of the new songs this morning uh, with that from um, just came out yesterday from the upper room very spontaneous worship type of song and so I'm just putting that now before I put that over which you noticed I laid this down so it could have been a little smeared no it was okay so I'm gonna lay this one in 
And really this glue is extremely, um, once it dries, like it's really good. So press that in too. And so there we go, y'all. Ah, oh, those, don't those look good? I'm so happy. So I'm glad I got to show y'all that. Okay, happy day, y'all. Follow me at sarahthurman.com. Hey, y'all, I wanted to tell you about a retreat that I am planning and I'm so excited about it. You can experience this retreat, this refreshing from God, right in your own home, right wherever you are all over the world. So I will have people here live in my studio, in my X18 Blessing Studio, where I'm recording right now, but you can be set up to do it in your own home via Zoom. So I'm calling it a creative spiritual retreat, y'all. It's gonna be recorded, and if you can't watch it live, then uh, you would be able to watch it later. And it's gonna include some spiritual practices, including being quiet and listening to God. We'll have at least 15 minutes of silence, okay? So I'm just telling you that, because God wants to speak to us during those moments of silence, of the noise of the world, but His voice will be loud and clear to you. Also, we'll be doing writing. I will have some writing exercises that I wanna share with you that I believe God will bring such refreshing to your soul in the midst of writing. And also, of course, painting. And so it can be watercolor, acrylic, oil, whatever medium you choose, uh, we will be experiencing some painting time together as well in the live setting. So it's gonna be Texas time, Central time, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. We'll break for lunch, and then again, we'll finish from one to four Central time. So y'all, the scriptures that God has given me specifically for this retreat, I'm so excited. I could hear him telling me, I want a refreshing for my children. I want a refreshing time. And it says, this is from Psalm 126, verse four and five. Now, Lord, do it again. Restore us to our former glory. May streams of your refreshing flow over us until our dry hearts are drenched again. Y'all, God wants to pour on us. He wants to pour on us. He knows that we've been, it has been hard. We, he knows we've been in the desert and he wants to pour his refreshing over you. And verse five just happens to say, those who sow their tears as seeds will reap a harvest with joyful shouts of glee. So I believe at the end of this day, spending time together, that you will have a refreshing from God like you've never experienced before. That your soul and your spirit and your creativity and your hearing will be refreshed from by Him. So y'all join me, it's gonna be so amazing. And so there's the, you know, you can click, click, click and find all the links uh, down below. But I wanted to get this video going so that you would know a little bit more. So I bless you and I pray that you can carve out time on the fourth day of September to spend with me and with God.